Good morning, YouTube. It's me, Kelly. It's almost 11 o'clock this morning, in the morning. Um, been up since quarter to six. Having a yard sale. My hubby's out there doing that. But, um, um, somebody asked me, and I cannot remember her name. I'm not even sure it's a her or a him. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a her, but if not, I could be wrong, and I do apologize. I do not remember the name. But I will leave the the name and the the the, the, the I can't even talk this morning the description in the bottom when I do upload this video. She wanted to she's she or he wanted to hear a review on each thing that I have tasted um, from Nutrisystem so far because they just started I think it's their first week they just started just a few days ago and. Um, they're kind of, the person's kind of picky on what they eat so far. I think they said they only got pizzas and, I don't know what else it was. Pizzas and something else. Okay, and I'm in my husband's office again. Like I said, my lighting in my room, I'm getting light bulbs today. Um, when he decides to go to the store. But anyway, okay, let's start with breakfast. Uh, honey wheat bagels are good. I normally have, um, with those I cut them, you know, slice them in half. And I put either laugh and cow cheese or cream cheese on them, and they're really good. Uh, let's see, cinnamon streusel muffin is very, very good. Nutriflakes brand cereal is good. I normally put some Truvia sweetener on it, just one little packet, or Splendy, either one. Maple with brown sugar oatmeal is good. <coughs> Apple cinnamon oatmeal is good. Biscotti bites are good dipped in milk. Now biscotti bites are hard to begin with, or biscotti to begin with. So dipped in milk, they they're really good. I mean, just dip them in milk and eat them. It's like eating a dessert for breakfast, really. Um, blue blueberry lemon bar is okay. Everybody's taste buds are different. Now I like blueberry and I like lemon, but both of them together, I mean, it was it was okay. It was it wasn't bad. I mean, really everything I've tasted with Nutrisystem has not been bad, except for there's a few things that I just didn't like, and, you know, I don't see how anybody would, to be honest with you. Um, cinnamon bun bar is yummy. Apple strudel bar is yummy. Peanut butter granola bar, too chewy and too peanut buttery. Now, if you like chewiness and you like peanut butter, you'll love them. Um... I, I like I love peanut butter, but I it was just too too chewy for me. Uh, carrot cake um, tastes just like carrot cake. Chocolate pound cake tastes just like devil's chocolate devil's food cake. Fudge brownie tastes just like a fudge brownie. Um, white cheddar popcorn is yummy. I mean it's popcorn and it's a good bit in a bag, and um, it's very good. Uh, cheese puffs were too hard. Um, they were more like Cheetos, but they tasted pretty good. They weren't, they didn't have a bad taste, taste like Cheetos, but they just were a little hard. So I don't, I, I don't know, I'm just, I would order them again, I'm not sure yet. Um, the nacho cheese tortilla chips taste like the baked, baked, uh, nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips to me. They're good. Um, I usually make homemade salsa, which is just basically tomatoes with jalapenos and, you know, um, some seasonings. And I use, I dip those with the tortillas, or the nacho cheese tortilla chips. Zestier snack mix, I like those. Those taste like seasoned Chex Mix. Lemon herb chips, not into those, but like I said, everybody's taste buds are different. Um, chocolate chip pudding is yum. Peppermint cookie patty is good, but it's just too chewy for me. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I told you, uh, I have a TMJ at the jawline, so anything too chewy for me, I just don't care for. Thin Mint Crisp Bar is good. If you like mint, it tastes like a Girl Scout mint cookie, but only it's bigger, so it's it's pretty good. I like it. Um, cheesecake Cake Flavored Bar tastes just like cheesecake. It's really good. Um, now let's move on to, that was my first shipment, and I, I got some new items, uh, didn't I, did I mention the, oh, that was just, um, oh, I wasn't done here, 
I did the breakfast and I did the snacks. Okay, the lunch, beans and ham soup, oh, that was good. It was really good. I, I add a little pepper to mine because it, it doesn't have much of a seed. Uh, I mean, it, it tastes good, but I normally like a lot of salt and stuff, so I use a Mrs. Dash. So I add some Mrs. Dash and some pepper. Or I could eat, you could eat it by itself. It's really good. White bean chicken chili. It's a, it's really good. Uh, it's navy beans, I believe. Great northern beans or navy beans. And it's got pieces of chicken. And it's really good. I, I like it. Fettuccine Alfredo is good. Um, loaded baked potato. All that is is mashed potatoes in a container. And, you know, you cook it like it says and it comes out just like mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, it's yummy though. That's one of my favorites as far as the lunches. Black beans and rice is good. Now, the one I did not like and I will never, never like, and in fact, normally I would eat it. Like the first one I did, I finished, I ate it, and I was like, okay, I, I still have two or three of those and gave those to my husband. He was like, nope, don't like them. My brother tried one, nope, don't like them. They just, the last one got thrown away. I just, it was just not good at all. The spicy Kung Pao noodles. They just, I don't know, they just didn't taste good. Cheddar broccoli rice. It was good, but just too watery. But then again, I'm learning that you have to cook the things a little bit longer than what they see on the box. Uh, let's see here. Um, three cheese chicken is good but watery. Again, I need to probably cook it a little bit longer. The tuna salad is yummy. It's only 120 calories for the packet. And it's already seasoned with, seasoned with mayonnaise, little pieces of uh, onion that are basically melt in your mouth. Oh, and it might be pickles in I can't remember, but I do know that it just really got flavor to it. Um, red beans and rice, yummy. And they're very, it's very good. Um, now we're going to move up to dinner. Cheese and spinach ravioli with meat sauce is good. The cheese ravioli with tomato or basil tomato is good, but not as good as the meat sauce. The meat sauce is really good. Uh, lasagna with meat sauce, yummy. It's one of my favorites. Vegetables lasagna with basil tomato is good. Um, meatloaf. It comes with mashed potatoes, very yummy. Um, a tuna casserole, um, that's good, very yummy. Chili with beans, tastes just like chili with beans. <coughs> very good. Hearty beef stew, tastes like Denny Moore beef stew, it's very good. <coughs> the vegetarian chili is good, except for it has chickpeas in it, and I'm not into that. So, but it is good. Um, Italian herb flatbread pizza is good when you add the turkey pepperoni to it and some veg veggies on top or just some turkey pepperoni. It's good. Not that big of a pizza, of course, for doing portion control, though. you got to understand that. Thick, cru pe thick crust pizza is basically the same to me, <coughs> except for it's round. Again, if you add some veggies and turkey pepperoni, of course, you can only add like four, maybe five slices on that. And... <coughs> it's really good. Hickory smoke flavored beef patty is very good to me. What I do, <coughs> I'm sorry, I have got allergies and they're really kicking my butt right now. Mm, and another thing that's good are these water bottles. You know, I think I've told you guys they're 32 ounces and um, I drink at least two of those sometimes more a day. Okay, um, where do we start off with? Um, roast beef. No. Hickory smoke flavor beef patty. What I do is I <coughs> turn the oven I on to about 350, sometimes 400, and I'll set it on aluminum foil in there and I'll let it, you know, bake for a little while. And then I'll throw some cheese on it. Now you could cook it in the microwave, but I prefer it in the oven, and I let it cook a little bit longer so it's not so soft because it's it's really good. Then I put it on a a hamburger roll or a a, a roll. I add lettuce and tomato, and then I add some onion, a little bit of mayo, um, and some 
believe it or not, Velveeta sliced cheese um, per slice. It's only 35 calories. <coughs> and it's like having a hamburger. It's really good. But they also have a hamburger coming out, which I'm going to try next, next, uh, this month coming. Now that was okay. And the grilled chicken breast, same thing. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I'll make that into a sandwich the same way. The <coughs> chicken pot pies are pretty good. I'm just not into pot pies, but they're they're good. Roast beef and gravy with mashed potatoes is good. Now, really, there's not a lot that's bad to me on here. Just a few items, and like I said, everybody's taste buds are different. But to me, they're good. Um, chicken and Alfredo sauce is yummy to me. Um, risotto tastes good, but the texture was like hummus. Every time I took a bite, it felt like I was taking a big bite of a drink of soda. <coughs> yeah, my allergies are acting up. But um, yeah, the risotto I'll never get it again because it, it was had the texture like uh, hummus, but it was it tasted good. Um, let's see where are we at risotto. Yeah, and that's about it for the dinners, but I did get some new items. Mac and cheese tastes just like mac and cheese. It's really good. The barbecue seasoned chicken, it was good. It kind of, it kind of was rich in flavor, so it kind of, I don't know if that was what irritated my stomach, but it did give me a little bit of, a little bit of acid reflux heartburn. The sloppy joe, the same thing. It was good, but rich in flavor, a little bit of heartburn. And um, that was the new items I tried for dinner. Now the new items I tried for lunch was noodles with chicken and vegetables, very good. Chicken noodle soup was very good. Mexican style tortilla soup was very good. And then my new items I tried for breakfast was a chocolate glazed donut. Tastes just like a, a cake donut with chocolate frosting on top. Cinnamon bar or cinnamon bun. It was too hard. I won't order it again. But it was. It tastes good. But if you put it in milk. It doesn't even get real soggy, but it gets perfect for you to chew. Um, again, I won't order it only for the sole purpose. It was very, very hard. Um, cinnamon raisin bar was good. Uh, buttered popcorn was yummy. It had. It was just like, just like the the other popcorn with the white cheddar popcorn. It had the butter flavored stuff sprinkled on it, so it was really good. Honey mustard pretzels were yummy, yummy, yummy. Double chocolate peanut butter cookies were okay. They tasted good, but you had to put them in milk to get them soft. I don't think I'll order those again. They, they were okay tasting, but they were just very hard. Coconut almond bar I have yet to try. Maybe I'll try that. This is a snack. Maybe I'll try that tonight, the coconut almond bar. And basically, I got my 10-pound bear, which I showed, and then I got three of these. One for my daughter, two for me. And I've already drank... This was my last one. I already drank a full one, so... Actually, I drank... I only need to drink a half one, but I'll probably drink another full one to get two and a half in. Um, but although, I only need the 64. Okay, and I will put her name in the down bar on who asked me to please, you know, give a little bit of a review on the foods that I have tasted. Um, I'm going to go out here and enjoy my family and um, probably set the pool up. Looks like it's downcast, but it's not going to rain. Um, probably set the pool up for my daughter in a little bit. And um, it's going to be. Uh, I got about another 45 minutes before I have lunch. Okay, everybody, stay positive, focused, motivated, determined, and on track. And I'll see you next time. Definitely Friday for my weigh in.